Virgos, it is October. That means it is time for your monthly horoscope. We're going to take a look at your energetic body using the Chakra Inside Oracle to kind of give you a tip on which chakra may need some extra love and attention for October. Going to pull a Sacred Self-Care Oracle to give you a self-care tip for the month. Doing something new, we're going to be adding um, a tarot card, so using the Modern Witch Tarot. And then you know how we love to end on a positive note. I'm going to give you the power message for the month using the Crystal Power Tarot. So let's dig into this and pull some cards at random to give you some tips and tricks. We're going to pull from the top. I don't know what card that is, so that'll be fun from the tarot for the month of October. So first and foremost for your energetic body, we're getting the crown chakra. Your crown chakra is located at the top of your head. This is your connection to spirit, to universe, to source, to other human beings, other sentient beings out there in the uni vast, vast universe. That is your crown chakra. So what this is telling you is that, um, I hate to say get get out of yourself. Now, that doesn't mean that you're in this, this wallowing or self-loathing. That's not what that means. This is an invitation to just get out of yourself, to see yourself as, I always say, like a particle of sand on a beach. Remind yourself and just be open to this, the fact that there's you are part of a makeup, what is called the universe, this vast connection of of molecules of spirit of light of energy and when you really sit and think about that that's an amazing what an amazing opportunity it is to be a human being in this time in this space in this place and kind of just really relish and, and just almost be proud of it like you 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 came down here right now to be part of this this earth this to help make and influence change on this earth so instead of seeing yourself as this this one part and oh my god it's it's all about what's going on in this my particular house and my living room in this space in this county in this town in this state in these united states of americas think about it on a bigger where you fit into the bigger picture what part you're going to play and are playing in developing and shaping the energy that is in this world so that's the crown chakra your self-care tip for the month look into the stars so that really matches very nicely with the crown chakra so how do i remind myself that i am part of this bigger picture look into the stars and if you notice um, i don't know how you can see this but she's actually holding her hands up there's a shooting star she's looking at all of the phases of the moon all of these here are different zodiac signs and she's actually just looking into the a new astro, um, astro, astrological sphere so how do you look into the stars it really could be doing a moon ritual uh just had the full moon there's another new moon coming later this month doing a moon ritual um start like paying attention to your horoscope paying attention to other horoscopes kind of doing this um, maybe you need to do some astro um, astrology some numerology actually looking into the stars into the cosmos through an astrological or a numerological aspect to get additional messages insight and clarity so that's going to be your self-care tip for the month for the tarot you've got the ten of cups the ten of cups is all about this um the completion of this emotional journey um, you'll notice that there's, there's the happy family, there's the kids, there's the happy house, and all 10 cups sitting in a rainbow. So right now it's telling you that um, things, if, if things feel too good to be true, they are true. It, don't second guess it. If you're going through a, a euphoria, a higher, things are finally coming together for you. Don't sit and go, but when is it going to change? When, is thing, when are things going to turn to crap again? They may not. It's You've got this beautiful Ten of Cups energy right now for you. Things are coming together. Happiness abounds, surrounds you. Abundance surrounds you. And just really enjoy that, Virgos, and relish in it that you've got this amazing Ten of Cups energy for you. And last but not least, your power message is the Six of Swords. This is all about, I know that peaceful times will come. Your cards are playing very well with each other this month. Um, this is your happy times, that Ten of Cups. So know that it is here. And trust that the peaceful times that you were asking for, that you needed, they've arrived and they're sitting here. And all you got to do is just embrace it and enjoy it. 
Hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for the monthly horoscope. Make sure you come back in November to check out what's going to happen in Scorpio season. And so then, please make sure you're taking care of yourself first. Then and only then can you take care of your friends, your family, and your loved ones so we can all collectively take care of Mama Earth. Sending you guys love and positive light. Bye. Thank you.